Today I'm going to show you how to retouch wrinkles out of fabric, and probably any other kind of thing that has that kind of unevenness. You know, this technique will work for, in this case, it could work for the background I have here, or probably the floor, but I'm right now focusing on the dress, and specifically the bottom portion of this dress. This is the same technique that I use to retouch skin, often. It's the dodging and burning technique, so if you already know that, just apply that to fabric, and it's pretty much the same, you know, you, you're ready to go. But I thought I would demonstrate it on fabric just to show people that it works well for this, and kind of the kind of results you can achieve, because I think cleaning up fabric in your photos, especially if it's fashion or if you're trying to show off clothing or for whatever reason, it can really help. So I have my photo open here, and I see a bunch of wrinkles in the bottom half of this dress. And for some kind of clothing, you know, maybe it would look normal. For this, I don't really like them, because the top of the dress is relatively smooth compared to the bottom, and I think it just doesn't look good. It looks messy. So I'm going to start by making a new layer, and you can do that in your favorite way to make a new layer. And I can click the button down here, you can press Command-Shift-N, or Layer, New Layer. And it's a blank layer, and then we're going to set that to the soft light blending mode. And then I'm going to select the brush and press D on the keyboard. And that sets your foreground and background colors to black and white. And what we're basically going to be doing is brushing on black and white to the shadows and highlights of all these wrinkles to kind of bring them up and take them down and even them, you know, flatten them out some. Wherever it's way too bright, we're going to make it a little bit darker, wherever it's dark, wherever those shadows and the creases are, we're going to bring them up to more closely match the actual tone of the fabric that we want. So instead of just brushing on, here I'll show you, if I used 100% opacity, we would get really dark. You know, we don't want this kind of thing. Same with the white, we'd get way too much. So I'm going to reduce the op opacity of my brush to somewhere between maybe 3 and 8%. I think I'll start around 8 for this because some of these wrinkles are pretty deep. And you can obviously change the opacity as you work. Maybe start on the large areas that need lots of work with a higher opacity and then lower it as you go for the details. So I'm going to zoom in and I think I'll start on this left part just to show everyone. And I have my empty layer selected that's on soft light, my brush, and I'm going to start with white. And I'm going to brush in to all the shadows with white. And it's going to take multiple strokes of your brush. I'm using a pen tablet, so it pretty much is like brushing. And you just go over all the shadows, and you start filling them in. I'm going to do this pretty quickly, so it's going to be pretty messy. And I would normally spend much more time on this if this was, you know, kind of a real retouch, but this is just a tutorial video, so I'm just going to do this so you can get the idea. And as you start doing this more, it'll become more fluid, you know, it's kind of like, in a way it's kind of mindless, you know, you just start, and put some music on and hang out for a while, retouching all these little details. And I'm increasing and decreasing the size of my brush with the bracket keys as I go. So, you know, for these larger areas, I'd want a larger size brush to fill in that area. And then if I see a smaller one, I just make it smaller. And you kind of just have to eyeball it. I usually make the brush as big or maybe a little bit smaller than the area that I'm trying to affect. You don't want to use a huge brush, si brush size to try to take out a little wrinkle because you'll end up just kind of making the area around it look weird. I'm going to zoom in, and here we have a really dark part, so I'm going to make my brush a little bit smaller, and then just keep filling that in with white. It's going to take multiple clicks, multiple brush strokes, but it starts to even out. This is the kind of thing I feel like you could keep looking at it, and the more you look at it, the more little things you could see to fix. So you could spend a lot of time on something like this. And in a way, unlike skin, where you're generally focusing on a face, or maybe the whole body, depending on the kind of photo, this is often large expanses of fabric, so it can take a long time to get it to look really smooth. 
but sometimes you don't need it to look super smooth. You just want to even things out so it's less distracting. So here I just switched. I press X on the keyboard. You can also click over here at your little swatches. And now I'm using black, and I'm just going over all the highlights, all the lighter parts, and I'm brushing some black over those. I'm trying to bring those highlights back down into the mid-tone range where I want the fabric to generally be. You know, you don't want to raise all of your shadows up way too bright or lower your highlights, you know, all really dark. You want them kind of to meet in the middle so that it looks natural. Let's see, let's go up a little higher here. I'll work on this big wrinkle too. So I'm just going to keep brushing in. And I'm usually okay making these kind of large crude adjustments at first, just to kind of get the overall tone out. Then I would go back with a much smaller brush and do detailed work after. And you know, you can zoom out and when you zoom out, you see things, you know, I'm seeing more here that I missed. So I'm going to just keep going back in and filling in these little things, these little areas. Okay, that's looking a little better. I think I'm going to brush on a little bit more white overall to increase the brightness of this area. There's a little more shadow. But you know, it's starting to look much smoother. And you can see we have all the little wrinkles, the little, the texture of the fabric, it's still there. Some of that I would still want to go in and remove. But just to show you guys here, here's before and here's after. Again, before and after. And that little side of the dress is already looking much more smooth. It's not looking perfect, but you know, given an hour or two of this work here, I, I already retouched this image um, a lot more so you can see this is after much more work and there's still many wrinkles and you'd want to use maybe some other tools to fix some of those but using just dodging and burning you can get that smoothness out of your fabric it's almost easier to see when it's smaller sometimes if you're dodging and burning and you've already toned your image a little bit with colors and the shadows or highlights you might have a little bit of a hard time because you'll be picking up those colors um, as you bring them up or down in tone. For, I'll show you really quickly here. Uh, I'll zoom in right here and see this big shadow. It's kind of pink. It's got some magenta in it compared to the light parts of the dress, which are more of a kind of a gray teal. So if I were to really lighten that, well, let's turn my brush up. If I were to lighten that a bunch, it would pick up a ton of pink. And so you'd be able to still tell there was a shadow there, even if it's gotten lighter. So to fi you know, there's other ways to fix that. So I did a little bit of that when I fixed it here. But overall, the uh, the tone is just black and white painted on to the wrinkles to fix them. Like I said, you can still see the texture here. You know, I would probably go back and fix that even more. You could probably, I don't know. Let's see. Let's try right now. We we'll use the healing brush. And then over all the parts that are too textured, you could just, oh, wait, hold on. There we go. Okay, there we go, new layer. You could probably heal out some of the really little kind of problem wrinkles. But definitely there's a lot you can do with just dodging and burning. Well, I won't bore everyone with going through all the little wrinkles, but anyway, I hope this could help, and um, hopefully your fabric's going to look a little bit better after applying this to your own photos. So thanks for watching.